Simone Biles, she's shown her power. Of course, she is the best gymnast in the world. Uh, and when uh, Mary Bono, former member of Congress, former Republican from Congress, uh, of course, she is the uh, widow of Sony Bono. When she uh, was named the interim president and CEO of uh, Team uh, USA for the gymnastics, well, let's just say Simone wasn't happy because Mary Bono sent out a tweet where she was critical of Colin Kaepernick uh, and Nike, uh, of course, uh, him being the face of their Just Do It campaign. Uh, and she, uh, so she, she had a tweet where she said she posted, she had a marker and she was playing in a golf tournament for uh, Wounded Warriors and she uh, blotted out uh, the Nike logo. Well, when she was named the interim president and CEO, Simone Biles went to Twitter, uh, blasted that decision. Five days later, today, Mary Bono, gone. All right, folks, back to our Roll Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. We want to thank all of our sponsors for the show, and I want to talk about right now with FreePrints.com. You can get 1,000 4 by 6 photos uh, for a very nominal fee by going to FreePrints.com. You can actually print your photos directly from Instagram, Facebook, as well as other sources. And look, you pay a small shipping uh, charge, but you have no subscriptions or commitments whatsoever. You can download a FreePrints.com app on Google Play or iTunes uh, App Store uh, to actually get it. Uh, and do this, do me a favor. When they say, where did you, of course, uh, find this out? Uh, use the code Roland. Use the code Roland. They're the number one rated uh, photo printing app in the world with more than uh, 100,000 five-star reviews. And so we certainly want to uh, thank them uh, for being one of our uh, sponsors here with Roland Martin Unfiltered. So go to free, uh, again, go to freeprints.com. And again, use the code Roland. Now it's back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. I want to go to Spencer. So Spencer, right. uh, clearly here, you, 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 this is black athletes showing their power when the most powerful woman in gymnastics speaks. Team USA listened. Right, and this is the moment that we're in right now where so many different athletes in different professions are stepping up to the plate, putting it on the line, speaking out, doing really what Rashad was talking about, right? Like not just going along with the flow and the program, but speaking out. We see it here. We see it in football. We see it in, 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 in different areas. And we also see it in terms of these states where these NFL players are going in and changing criminal justice laws so that, you know, folks have more of an opportunity to get back in society. Sure. So I think that where we are right now is a space where uh, we see athletes stepping up to the plate, and we now also need insiders. So we talk about electeds, folks who are in the Congressional Black Caucus, other places stepping up to the plate. It is possible one of the pluses of a change in terms of Congress in November is you could see chairs of the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, as, you know, chairs uh, as in terms of committee heads, uh, committee heads, CBC members as committee heads of uh, education and workforce, of homeland security, et cetera. And there's this opportunity to step up and make some real change both inside and outside. Yeah, you know, I, I couldn't agree more. You know, one of the things that, one of the buzzwords that's oftentimes thrown around is narrative change. Right. But how we get to narrative change is right, really the rules and norms of society. And folks like, you know, Simone Biles, Colin Kaepernick, many of these athletes that have huge platforms get to, in some ways, their speaking out starts to change the rules and norms. When Mary Bono blacked out her Nike, um, you know, her, her, her Nike emblem on her golf shoes, um, and she thought she was making like a cute statement, she thought she was, you know, inside the right narrative, right? right, right. Many people a year ago did not know how much the country would change because of what Colin Kaepernick, Eric Reed, um, and Malcolm Jenkins, and so many of the athletes um, in the NFL did. And, and then along with in, NBA players and so many others standing up and speaking out. And so, you know, how quickly society and the politics around this has changed should be a reminder to anyone in power that when you put your hand on the scale of, of injustice and justice on the side of injustice, when you put your hand on that scale, you could quickly find yourself on the wrong end of it. And to now have the biggest star in your sport, you are now in charge of, of the sport, um, of the U.S. Um, um, area of the sport, to have the biggest athlete um, and one of the best to ever perform that sport in the history 
um, tweeting about you because of something you did that you did not have to, you could have just kept your mouth shut. I hope that just sends a message to many powerful people about how society changes and whose side we should actually be on in these situations.